How is up, everybody? It's your boy, Chuby Choosy, back in the clack with another extreme stream. Hey, listen, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We have successfully beaten all 776 Thracias, and I want to thank everyone who joined me on stream to watch it happen. We had a lot of thrills, a lot of laughs, and a lot of ballistas. A lot of ballistas. An exorbitant amount of ballistas. There were just too many. This game fucking sucks. It was not fun, okay? So I wanted to celebrate the occasion by taking an in-depth look at one of the jewels in my crown of repressed virgin rage. The Fire Emblem Thracia 776 Deluxe Pack. Yeah, that's right, baby. I did it. But what exactly do you get for your quarter G and false idol worship? Well, let's take a look. The outside of this presentation is the real showpiece. The classic Thracia 776 logo design is here in full effect, complete with the dueling dragons and pegasus framing the crest of Gungir and Gaybalg, the two holy weapons that represent a divided Thracia. The faux wood engravings and metalwork do a great job of illustrating that this package is a war chest for those who choose to accept the challenge. The key from what I can assume is a warning that you're going to need to hold on to those door keys until the last chapter of this game. Pop in the top greets us with a beautiful piece of yellow parchment, and I gotta say, the aroma of the contents of this box is fan-fucking-tastic. Walk into a mom and pop record store and that's what I'm smelling right now, YouTube. Aside from a list of contents, this letter reads, Thank you for purchasing the deluxe pack of Fire Emblem Thracia 776. The goods here are meant to be useful for you when playing Fire Emblem Thracia 776. Or perhaps to make the world in the software more real. We will be very happy if you enjoyed it. We did our best to ensure the details and quality of the goods inside this deluxe package, but if you notice any failures or errors, please contact us with the information provided below. That is so fucking cute. They just want me to have a good time and be satisfied with my experience. Why can't everyone be like Intelligent Systems in 1999? First thing they package for our adventure are plushies. Yes, Thracia 776 branded plushies. These things are so darling, oh my word. They are super soft and partially filled with plushy beans, so they have a decent amount of weight to them. These bug eyes are kind of prone to having the paint scratched off of them from what I've seen in other eBay listings. And the felt nose pieces are held on by a light smattering of glue, so these aren't things you're going to want to be taking to bed with you, even though that doesn't stop me. As you can see, the previous owner tried to adhere the nose pads on with what looks like super glue. Great idea, dude. But yeah, this is the reason I got this thing for so cheap, despite the rest of the package being pristine. Eh, I keep these things on my shelf either way. They are so dang darn diddly cute and great conversation pieces. Removing this little decorative cardboard reveals the rest of the contents. Let's start with the game itself. Now the version you're getting in this set is not the standalone ROM, but a Nintendo Power preloaded cart with Thracia 776 in the software's RAM. This is actually a flash memory cart that can be taken to a participating Lawson's convenience store and rewritten with multiple games at a lower price compared to purchasing a standalone cartridge. Because of Thracia's size, it takes up the entirety of the memory space on this thing. All seven available blocks and the additional eighth block, usually reserved for the cartridge's selection menu, would be devoted to one epic adventure. The actual game does slightly differ from the standalone ROM in that the Nintendo Power version is an earlier build of the game. The later standalone cart actually has an expanded rank system and an extra CG epilogue art not found in this build. But what this version does have is a nifty little sticker to label the outside of the cartridge. What? Of, of, of course I'm not going to use it. Fuck you. Next, we have a package of collectible trading cards. And these are pretty dumb, in my opinion. Uh, the back of the cards gives the most bare bones information, and plus, none of the important characters are even on display here. Oh wait, never mind. Next, we have a cloth map of the continent of Thracia, along with blue and red pushpins to mark where you've been and where you're going. Man, this is such a nice looking map. I've actually seen this map and these pins referenced in this fantastic piece of art, which makes it all the more special to me. I think I might hang this thing up, despite it probably being a bad idea. 
And last, we have the World of Fire Emblem VHS. One would probably believe from the title that this is just a VHS going over the history of Fire Emblem. However, this would actually be the most helpful thing in the box to a new player. It gives a detailed synopsis of the events of Genealogy Generation 1, as well as going thoroughly through all the new mechanics Thracia has to offer. Everything is covered here. Fatigue, capture, weapon weight, action stars, trading, fog of war, leadership, Marita going ham on Raedric for some reason. I could see this being such a helpful tool to someone approaching the game for the first time, especially as an alternative to flipping through this fucking novel. War and peace? More like Manster and Meese. <laughs> And that's the whole package. Is it worth your money? Fuck no! Or don't be stupid and spend your money on this, you dingus! It's $200 for two plushies and a fucking VHS in Japanese! God! I mean, I gotta play the stock market just to make up for this one ill-conceived decision of mine. And I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I invested in Activision Blizzard and they're going down. They just keep going down. I don't know what they did. When are they gonna recover? Did you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. Guys, I just play antiquated strategy games. I don't know this shit. Anyways, thank you to these patrons. I love these guys. They're the best. They are the fucking best. And I want to thank you for joining me on another quest to discover the mysteries of the emblem. Don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, stay frothy.